Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Okay, so it looks very similar to the one that we made the other day. Look at the difference. <laughs> this is a mini one. Okay, so this was made using a 9x9 nine nine piece of Fresh Florals Designer Series paper. This was made using a 6x6 six six piece, which means you can get four of these out of one sheet of Designer Series paper. So this is Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide, Fresh Fig and Berry Burst. Now those look almost identical to the one that we made the other day. So instead of making these today, I'm just gonna put the supply list on my website and we're actually gonna make this one. This is using the Coffee Break Designer Series paper. I have been hoarding this paper and I know it's gonna retire soon. So I'm gonna start using it now. It's that coffee paper, you know. Um, and here it is. So that's the back side measure six by six and then we're using basic black and whisper white the same stamp set so for this one you know it has the little bunny here you've got a little deer you've got a bird I love this set hopefully it's going to carry over to the next catalog anyway so we're using the bird this time so let's go ahead and make the bag I didn't have any idea what to call this thing so I just called it a mini bag I'm going to score it at two inches on all four sides. It's made exactly like the other one, the larger one. The only difference is the score line. And then I have another version. I'm just gonna post the picture on my website, so I'm not gonna, not gonna film another video, um, but it's another mini size. It's the same size as this one. It's just using different paper and a different stamp set. So I'm a little bit obsessed. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, it holds the perfect one piece of candy. So if you're looking for something that you can make that just holds one piece instead of a whole bunch of candy, because I showed you guys that this one holds a lot. Um, and this one holds a little, like one piece. And I've got that here uh, on my desk, so I'll show you in just a second. So I'm cutting up to the score line on both sides opposite of each other and then just like I showed in the larger one we're just going to bring we're going to make sure that we cut here and here so that means over here that's where we want to squeeze the sides okay so I'm going to bring this score line over to this score line and I'm just going to fold it at the top you don't have to at the bottom okay same thing on this side Okay, now, this is going to fold in just like that. This, If you're going to add adhesive, if you want to, this would be where you put it, there and there. But this doesn't need adhesive. Now let me show you the candy that fits. We've got these little Reese, Reese's that fits in there. Or these peanut butter cups also fits in there. And I think if you place them in there the right direction, like sideways, you can fit both, but it's a little bit of a tight fit. So that'll give you an idea of how much candy you can fit in there. I'm not gonna put candy in there because I don't wanna forget it in there and then it get old. <laughs> I'm gonna take the birthday binder clips. Remember, those are the free item this month with a $50 order using the hostess code on my website. I'm using the Whisper White Organza Ribbon. This is off of back order now, so you can order it. Of course, I say that and I get fearful that I'm like, okay, did I check the report today? But I checked it yesterday, so hopefully all is well. Okay. Add the bow. Just like that. Now... I tried to use like the twine, but I just think this project calls for really pretty ribbon. The twine just looked really small. Okay, I'm gonna take the basic gray ink and I'm gonna stamp the little dots or dashes or whatever you wanna call those. And then I'm gonna stamp the bird and I might have to stamp this twice if I stamp him crooked. Not too shabby. I'm going to take the Stampin' Blends. Now the Pool Party Stampin' Blends are on back order, so I'm so very sorry. But I have to continue using them 
because number one, they're going to come back in stock, and number two, I've already sold a bunch of them, so I don't want to sell something to my customers, and then you guys not ever see me use them. So they are on back order. They will be back. Um, for those of you that did buy them, thank you. Uh, and I'm sorry for those of you that hadn't had a chance to get them yet. I had a big old push I was going to do for March, because it's my birthday month. Um, and uh, I'm going to have to put that, move it to a different month. Um, anyway, so like I said, I apologize. So there's the bird. And then I'm going to use the pumpkin pie. This one is still available at the moment. And I'm going to try to not mess up the feet. Okay, I'm going to cut it out with the one and a quarter circle punch. And then cut out the basic black with the one and three eighth scallop circle punch. And then this one's just going to get attached with a glue dot or whatever your favorite adhesive is. Let's see, I had that backwards. And then I'm just going to add this with a dimensional. Now let me show you, on this one, what I did was I cut out a Myth and Magic Glimmer paper using the one and a half inch circle punch. So if you wanted to add another layer behind this one, that would be the one and a half inch circle punch. I just decided to keep it simple and not add the glimmer to this. Okay, so here they all are. Don't forget to visit my blog later this week to see the other version. It's using different paper and a different stamp set. Okay, have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.